Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to study for the Network Plus exam. Now, in my opinion, this was probably the hardest exam that I've taken. I've taken the A+, the Network Plus, and the Security Plus, and I would honestly say that the Network Plus required the most effort and the most study time out of all three of them. This is in part due to its dense nature. It's a, it is a very dense exam. It's a very uh, thorough exam. There's a lot of terms and there's a lot of different concepts to wrap your head around, but don't fret. It's actually quite manageable as long as you commit yourself to a study schedule and devote your time to studying for the exam. Now, before we get into these study tips here, I think it's important to note that everyone learns at a different pace. If you take a little bit longer to learn things, that's not a bad thing. I'm actually quite a slow learner myself. I like to take my time when I'm studying. Uh, I, I tend to read a lot slower than other people that I know, um, but I try not to disparage myself over these things because it's the way I am and it's the way that my brain works. Work with your brain, not against it. Now, first of all, you might be asking, how long should I study for the Network Plus exam? Now, this can vary for everybody. Like I said, everyone learns at a different pace. In my case, it took a lot longer than what I had hoped. It took me about four months uh, from starting the study process to actually taking the exam. And a lot of it was due to procrastination. Uh, I didn't devote my time. I didn't practice what I preach uh, quite as much as I should have. And it took me a lot longer. Generally, a lot of people find that they take about four to six weeks to study for the exam. Uh, it's okay to take longer, obviously. I took quite a lot longer than that. But with a consistent, regular schedule of studying each week, four to six weeks is pretty normal. Keep in mind, you're going to an exam that you're more than likely going to be using the knowledge in your career field. Obviously, you're studying the Network Plus for a reason. Uh, it, it's probably a means to some end for you. Uh, maybe it's a career. Maybe it's uh, uh, some sort of a progression in your career. The key is you want to absorb as much of the knowledge as possible. And that's why I always recommend that you don't cram just to pass the exam. Take your time, absorb the information, make sure you understand the concepts, make sure you do your due diligence to really try to absorb the material so that way when you're in a professional setting, you can actually apply those concepts and knowledge rather than feel more like you have some sort of an imposter syndrome. Now, the Network Plus, I'm not going to lie to you, it's a very, very term intensive exam. There are a lot of terms, concepts, and various phrases to remember for the Network Plus exam. So what I would recommend is to use flashcards. I would use Quizlet, Anki, any of those are good options. I even use physical flashcards. And interestingly, you can actually print out Anki cards and use them as physical cards. My goal with flashcards wasn't just to soak in the definitions and, and just associate definitions with words. I more so liked to associate different technologies and concepts and tie them together. And that way it uh, created kind of a, a web of information in my head that made the information more connected to each other. And in turn, my comprehension increased significantly. Another tip that I would suggest is if you can, grab a study buddy. Um, in my case, I used my brother a couple times, my fiance a couple times. Uh, I just had them hold cards and go through cards with me. I feel like that really helped keep me accountable uh, so I wasn't like cheating or like skipping cards that I was uncomfortable with or, um, or what have you. I feel like having a study buddy was a big help in uh, attaining the level of knowledge that I did over the course of studying for Network Plus exam. Now another big part of the Network Plus exam and really all CompTIA exams is the PBQs, the performance-based questions. For performance-based questions, there's usually about three PBQs per a CompTIA exam. That's kind of a standard number of PBQs that you can expect to have, um, usually three. And what my tip is with PBQs is to save them for last. Uh, what I usually do is I go through the rest of the exam and then I will return to the PBQs, go through them. That way I know that I'm managing my time the best as I can. And 
as PBQs take a bit more time than an actual multiple choice question, it just makes more sense to me personally to save them for last. As for studying for the PBQs, I would recommend the CERT Master material. Uh, it's really probably the, your best bet for studying the PBQs. CERT Master actually has quite a few PBQs that you can practice, and uh, going through and practicing those PBQs on the CERT Master material I think is really important, not only to get a grasp of the technicalities of what a PBQ is and what you can expect, but it's also important to grasp the, the concepts and the different technologies that you might expect to see on a performance-based question. Next up, I think uh, is important, ports and protocols. Uh, you need to know what they are and what they're for. Now, obviously it's not very realistic to remember every single port and every single protocol uh, and what they do and every single thing, but I think it's really important to do your due diligence to, to, to study as many ports and protocols that you can. Uh, that way you have a pretty wide breadth of knowledge as far as associating ports with protocols. Now in my specific case, I didn't have very many questions, uh, at least multiple choice questions that asked about ports and protocols, but what I can say is I did have a PBQ or two, if I remember correctly, that asked for certain ports and functions and to associate them together. Uh, so it, I, I definitely needed to remember uh, certain ports and protocols. Now I think it's important to go over some other uh, resources that I used uh, throughout my studying of the Network Plus, and we'll get into them here. Now the first resource I actually would recommend is something that I didn't really discover until about two-thirds or three-fourths the way through my studying process for Network Plus, and it is the Informatic Lab Network Plus Pop Quiz series on YouTube. Uh, I really recommend it. Honestly, I did not expect to find something so valuable uh, beyond Professor Messer and the other standard materials that I used, but this really honestly helped me a lot, especially a couple weeks before I took the exam. It really got me familiar with uh, what to expect as far as questions uh, on the Network Plus exam. And I kind of coupled that with uh, the CERT Master practice assessments and also the Jason Dion practice assessments to give me an all-around better um, overview of what to expect as far as terminology and uh, how the questions are worded for a Network Plus exam. And as I go through here, obviously you can see um, he goes through several different types of questions that you might expect to see on the Network Plus exam. It really gave me a, a sense of confidence going into the Network Plus exam. Now, of course, I will always recommend Professor Messer's study materials for any CompTIA exam. I've used him for every single CompTIA exam I've taken. He is just so thorough, he's detailed, he obviously cares about what he's teaching, and he interacts with his viewers, and he will actually hold live stream study sessions that will help you um, interact with other people who are also preparing for the same exam and also interact with Professor Messer himself to get some answers to any specific questions that you might have. Now I feel like I should have gone through this a little bit earlier in the video, but obviously the Network Plus certification exam objectives are very important. Uh, for me, what I did is I went through and I uh, highlighted each thing as I went through and studied and as I got more comfortable I would highlight them out and if there were any questions that I had or any uh, connections that I wanted to make to other objectives I would notate them next to the uh, text in the objectives and I would keep studying I would go through and I basically made sure I covered all my bases as far as studying the uh, objectives and as you can see it's pretty dense Obviously, there's a lot of material to cover here and a lot of things to remember, a lot of connections to be made uh, between these technologies. And it can seem daunting, but I promise you, with the right mindset and the, the ambition to learn, I honestly feel like you can do anything. Now, there you have it, guys. Those are my study tips for the Network Plus exam. I really hope it helped you guys out. And if it did, go ahead and drop a like on the video, subscribe. Uh, I would love to help you guys in the future with your future studies. I've really taken a lot of inspiration from people like Professor Messer and other YouTubers who 
uh, seek to help other other people out with uh, the studying process. It can be very daunting. It can be kind of overwhelming, but support always helps. And uh, I really hope that I uh, provided some valuable insight into uh, your study process. And of course, good luck on the exam.